Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We're a new channel that is covering cars for sale all around the internet, which includes websites such as Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids, Facebook Marketplace, and more. We do love cars, especially rare and unique cars. So this includes this 1985 Honda City R with a Moto Compo scooter. Now I personally own a Moto Compo and I absolutely, absolutely love it. So first up, let's talk about the Moto Compo. So for those of you who don't know, the Moto Compo is a tiny foldable scooter that was originally designed to fit inside the trunk of a Honda City. It was a perfect solution for city dwellers who needed to park their cars far away from their homes or offices, but still needed a quick and convenient way to get around town. Now, here's the other best part of this. Um, this 1985 Honda City Arc, not only does it come with a Moto Compo, but the car itself is pretty rare. I haven't really seen many City R's. I've seen City Turbos and Plain Cities, um, even even a, the occasional convertible, but City R, I have not seen many of those for sale. Um, but it looks like it's in really good condition uh, with about 35,000 kilometers or 22,000 miles. And just judging by the photos, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, all the plastics are there. The rims look to be in very good shape. Um, that's very 80s retro right there. Uh, looking at the interior, the, the plastics, the seats, everything looks to be intact. Looks like it's in really, really good shape. Now, according to this over here, um, 35,000 kilometers or 22,000 miles. I mean, cars of this age, true mileage is unknown, but just judging by the pictures, it might be accurate. Uh, the engine bay looks great. And here's an interesting uh, fact over here. So it is a 1.2 liter inline four. That was factory rated at 66 horsepower. Now those are numbers that are on par with a K car, but this technically was not a K car because K cars have a 660 cc engine, and this one has a 1200 cc engine. So yeah, it looks like it's a front wheel drive, five speed manual, corrosion is present underneath. That's pretty common, especially for cars of this age. So the Moto Compo, is basically a matching color um, and as it says over here it's designed to, to fold to be able to fit in the cargo area of the car so as you can see here this is your step everything is nicely marked so these are your carrying points over here there are four carrying points it weighs about 90 pounds it's pretty easy to to fold into this little box and then you can just lift it up and place it right into the tr into the trunk and yeah this is a 49 cc two-stroke uh, single cylinder engine uh, two and a half horsepower <clears throat> mine tops out at about 25 miles an hour so just looking at the videos here it looks like um, got some nice video Doing a little walk around. All right, here we are at the Real Time Collection Hall, ready for a walk around of our 1985 Honda City R. Car looks immaculate. Car has less than 22,000 miles on it. It's 38 years old and it's in very good shape. The paint on the car looks pretty good, but there are a number of flaws we'll take a closer look at. I like that he's being honest. For it to survive this long is pretty good. It's, I think, been well cared for its whole life. Certainly in Japan, it had extensive service records from the original owner taking very good care of it. I 
my friend who's right now, and you can see the carpeting is in very good shape. The seats are in good shape. There's this one tear here that maybe could be repaired on the passenger seat. The back seat is uh, unused. You can actually fit adults in the back there pretty well. It's not. See that engine bay. On it here. storage back here. That's where the Moto Compo goes. Moto Compo lives. Then the rear seat folds down for extra storage. Yeah, it looks pretty good on the walk around. All right, now we'll go for a little drive here and we'll start it up cold. around the block. You can feel the power. Now being that it's right hand drive, the turn signals, turn signals are on the, the right. Left side on the JDM car. It's hard to remember. Yeah, so based on what I'm seeing here, the car looks, car sounds pretty good. And just looking at the photos, and I really dissected this car. I mean, paint is in overall pretty good shape. Plastics are in good shape. A couple of little issues with the paint, but really not bad for its age. The wheels, oh my gosh, I absolutely love these wheels. Looking at the interior, it looks really, really good. I like that high upright seating position. Looks like it would be pretty comfortable. Your manual windows, locks. Modern headrests, despite the age of the car. Climate controls, five speed manual. Color code. That's that Terry mentioned in the video. Nothing major. Moto Compo. Probably the best part of the car. And it fits right in there. That's that CVCC motor, that lower emissions motor. Yeah, not doesn't look that bad underneath. Super clean. The corrosion they're mentioning is honestly very minor. I like how they took the wheels off to really give you the full picture of what you're purchasing. This is a pretty good auction. It's your VIN number. Cars from Japan have a shorter VIN number. Your Moto Compo. Yeah, everything looks pretty good.
looks well used but overall really really good shape there's your fuel cut off your VIN number perfect just like the ad It's a shame they didn't bring it to the US. Pretty nice car. Just curious about the, so 1,400 pounds, that's pretty light. With 66 horsepower, that car will go, will feel like a modern car. And it looks like 13 seconds, zero to 60. Not fast, but respectable. And this is a bring a trailer auction for the 1985 Honda City R. And that's with the accompanying Motocompo scooter. 